The other part of our brain here, this little red dot, that's our amygdala. It's your survival or primitive brain. Fight, flight, freeze. Now, whether you're dealing with a leopard killing something outside your shelter in South Africa or the venue canceling, the same thing happens. It's called the amygdala hijack. Fight, flight, or freeze takes over. Thinking, making rational decisions, not so easy, right? Now, we think oftentimes that our primitive ancestors had much more difficult lives than we do. And while it's true that we have Netflix and Lazy Boys and popcorn, hate to break it to you, here's the truth. Our primitive ancestors would deal with one big stress, like a leopard kill, once every few weeks. All of us in this room, modern Americans, we deal with anywhere from 50 to over 200 stressors per day. And every time that happens, your amygdala is going off. It's flooding your bloodstream with stress hormones. It makes you apathetic. It gives you decision fatigue. It makes you just like, uh, OMG, when is this over? Right? It's that five o'clock feeling. So while we've come very far, our lives have also gotten incredibly complex, incredibly noisy, incredibly chaotic. We find ourselves burned out, apathetic, lost. And I believe that instead of trying to solve our complex lives and complex problems with even more complex solutions, like the latest app or the gadget or whatever, we need to get a little primitive to speak to the primitive part of our brain. And here's what people get wrong. Primitive does not mean stupid. Primitive means profoundly simple. And what's simpler than counting to three? Three zones of survival. Zone one is you. It is the only thing you have control over. Zone two, your environment. You have influence, and it can influence you. Zone three, big picture, we get perspective. 